In today's video, I'm going to be showing you 10 ways to prank your friends in Minecraft. Whoa, 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 what was that? Ah! <laughs> now you don't have to stop there. This prank can work on your mom, dad, parrot, Uncle Joe, Aunt Sally, your pet lizard, or maybe even your grandma too if she wants. Make sure you guys pay close attention in today's video so you know exactly how to make each one of these pranks. And be sure to leave a like if you like any of them. And be sure to leave a like if you end up using any of them. And be sure to leave a like if you think these pranks will work. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to my trolling laboratory. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys 10 different trolls and pranks that you can set up on your friends. The first one we have set up is called Falling Sand. This one is a little bit complex. As you can see, I just triggered it. You're going to need a couple different materials. The main, the main material being lava. On top, you're going to want to set up this trip wire that will go all the way down this redstone contraption into this repeater, which will go up into this redstone torch. Once the redstone torch is activated, the entire trap will be set off. Let's go ahead and reset it so you guys can see exactly how it works. I hit the reset button, boom. So you guys have to make sure that you place signs just like this underneath the sand. Sand, if you guys did not know, will stay on top of signs and won't fall through unless one of the signs falls. And that's exactly what this piston does. So if we try it again and we walk right over this, you'll notice that it takes the signs away and all of the sand falls right into the lava. The only thing left to do is test it out on a noob. This troll works out great in desert temples. If you guys leave some sort of hidden buried treasure right in the center, or you just leave it completely untouched, you can set the trap right at the entrance. I don't know if you guys can tell, but right there we have tripwire hooks. My brother Adam should be joining shortly, and we're gonna try to lure him inside the temple to see if he falls for trap number one. Hello? Hello? Jack? What the? You just invited me to this world. Um, all right. I'm just gonna assume he's in this desert temple looking thing. All right, cool. This world is actually pretty cool. Although we got a fire going. This follows the pathway here. Oh, we got a chest! We got a chest! <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? What is happening? Jack, what the? Where Shut am I? Dude, boy! Ladies and gentlemen, trap number one was a success. Trap number two. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the second trap that you can use to prank your friends is one of my personal favorite, the exploding furnace. This one is exactly like the name implies. You put TNT underneath the furnace. Now, for those of you guys that did not know, anytime you use a furnace, it gives off a redstone signal. Oh, okay, so in order to give out the redstone signal, I believe you need to place coal inside or another item. I obviously don't want to blow up this, so we're going to invite Dirt Boy and see if it works. <sighs> All right, another brand new world. Fresh start, baby. Jack, where are you? All right, perfect. He's nowhere to be seen. We got a house here. Let's check this out. Okay, we have a piece of charcoal and a piece of raw cod. So, I mean, <laughs> I, I'm a little hungry. I'm gonna cook up some nice food here. We got the fishies. Let's get the fish in there and then the charcoal. What was that? What, what was that? Ah! No, no. What just happened? What just happened? Don't try to kill me. It Where'd you come from? It worked, ladies and gentlemen. That was my favorite. Stop. Stop it, I can't. That fish was a little explosive, wasn't it, dirt boy? You could say that. Can we just play Minecraft? <laughs> wrong with you trap number three dangerous diamonds so that last one worked out really really well i think i should have added just a little bit more tnt so adam would have exploded to his death but that's okay we'll make up for it with this troll the dangerous diamonds this one takes a page out of the book of the last troll. As you can see, we have diamonds set up. The diamonds are hooked up to this redstone contraption. As you can see, we have two redstone torches that are activated behind the diamond door. It goes all the way down into this repeater. If you mine either one of these pieces of diamonds, it will set off this current and then it will blow up all of the TNT below the diamonds. So any old noob like my brother Dirt Boy will come along and think that he found himself a nice fresh pair of of diamond boots and then he will get exploded let's try it out okay i found a mine i found a mine there's already torches here uh i see diamond oh diamond okay just still don't see jack anywhere just got blown up okay we got some lava here oh diamonds <laughs> let's go we found diamonds baby let's get them let's get them 
What was that? What? What was that? No! <laughs> Not again! No! Why? <laughs> <laughs> Stop! That Blowing worked me so up. well! <laughs> I just wanted the diamonds, man! <laughs> we'll give that one a 9 out of 10, ladies and gentlemen. What's wrong with you? You have problems. Maybe a few. Trap number four. Home sweet home. <laughs> that last one worked out so well. He actually thought that he was going to get diamonds and then boom, he got blamed. Now this next one I've honestly never seen before, but it looks extremely simple. As you can see, we have a normal entrance to any house. Personally, I don't use pressure plates because I've actually been trolled using this method. If you find your friend's house out in the Minecraft world that you're playing in, you can basically put TNT underneath of their pressure plates. They will have no idea. They will simply think they're walking home from a nice long day of mining in the world of Minecraft, and then their entire world will get exploded. Uh, if you guys couldn't tell, TNT is one of the best ways to troll anybody. I would test it out, but this beautiful area is too beautiful to explode. So we're gonna invite Adam back to his house. Little does he know, <laughs> there's gonna be a lot of TNT. All right. I don't know how I got here again, but I know you're behind something, Jack. Show yourself. I'm not getting trolled again. I'm not. I'm just gonna go inside. I'm taking a nap. I'm done with all this crap. You can't get me again. Okay. He definitely wants me to explore the, those trees over there, so I'm not. I'm not gonna go over there. I'm just gonna go inside. Okay. No! 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 <laughs> <laughs> Stop blowing me up, man! <laughs> There goes your I'm house, Scrum! I got <laughs> Stop! Stop! Look, I there's, really didn't think I'd look, fall for that one. Look, there's, there's a bunch of dirt for you down there. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> You'll pay for this. I actually can't get out. <laughs> no. I'll see ya! Good luck getting out! Don't leave me here! <laughs> Trap number five. A burning welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know how it can get better than that, but I'm really excited to see if it can. So this one's called a burning welcome. And just by looking around, I'm guessing that as soon as you walk inside, you are going to burn everything by accident. So if I were to open this and I walk inside, you see there is a slightly different block in the center here. Most people walking into their house probably won't know, especially if they already have brown carpet everywhere. But if you were to walk in, the entire thing will be surrounded with lava. The best part about this one is that there is really no escape. You can try to stay in the center for as long as possible, but you can't even build up. This one is super easy to set up too. You only need four dispensers and a pressure plate in the center. Then you fill up each dispenser with a bucket of lava. Once you're done that, you just need to find somebody's house to put it in and secretly hide it. Carpets work great to f hide the dispensers and make it so that nobody can see them. The only part that's a little bit sus is the pressure plate in the center, but you just gotta cross your fingers, put it near the front door and hope that they just walk over it. Now let's test it out on Dirt Boy. Oh, dude, how do I keep editing? up here i'm not going in that house uh, jack i know you're here somewhere adam 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 i'm, I'm actually here oh. this time okay i'm not gonna Ooh. troll you don't worry don't worry don't oh, even worry real? about it yeah yeah this one's totally legit i just want to show you all the cookies that i made today okay i trust you since you're here it's totally fine here open the door i'm literally right on the other side look yeah, look there's the, this, this is a totally normal house all right you're already in there so nothing can really explode or you'll die too could you stop wasting time uh i'm just thinking this through man Okay, I'm, I'm going through. Dude, oh, I'll hey, really give you dirt. Ah! <laughs> no! No! <laughs> <laughs> Trap number six. Knock, knock. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I, I honestly, I'm starting to feel slightly bad, but this one <laughs> I think will make me feel a little better. So this trap is called knock, knock. When you walk inside, you'll notice that, yeah, there might have been an anvil that just fell down. For this one to work, you need to make sure that your friends aren't going to immediately run through the door. When they walk in the first section, you want them to kind of stay for at least half of a second so they will get crushed by the anvils. I think I got myself stuck. In order to get this one to work, you are going to need to place two anvils above your house. 
This works best in some sort of cave environment or an environment where you can't see the anvils. So you need to make either a large house or a house inside of a mountain so that you can sneakily hide all of the redstone and also the anvils that will crush anybody that walks through your door. The rest of it is really, really simple. You need two sticky pistons, two redstone torches, two repeaters, and they go all the way down to this button. After the button is pressed, they will activate, the pistons will pull back the blocks, and the anvils will come raining down on your friend's skulls. Let's see if I can trick my brother again. Uh, if this works, you guys have to go check out the plushies over at peckbrojack.co. That's, you, 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 you gotta do it. Use code Bessie for 10% off. I feel like I'm in a dream, man. Get me out of this world. Okay, we have an obvious door here with two torches that I, I'm kind of curious, to be honest. We get this dirt mound. I feel safe. There's so much dirt. Jack! Okay, Jack's not here. I think we're good. He might have left us alone. I think he, I think he's leaving us alone. All right, let me just go through here. We got one door. Okay, nothing happened. All right, we're, we're golden. We're golden. Let me just press the button and we're going through. What? what it happened? didn't work! Yes! <laughs> no. Diamonds! I found diamonds! No! I'm giving oh this one a God. zero out of ten. That's what I was afraid of. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you gotta make sure that your friends do not run through that troll. Trying to crush me? No, uh, no, uh, I'll, uh, I'll see you later. Bye. You. Uh, you can have the, the, the cookies in there. I'll see you later. Dude, I'm trapped in here. Let me go. Maybe it did work. Trap number eight. Burning Dungeon. Uh, honestly, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not surprised that the last one was a failure. That was easily the most easy bunker defense mechanism that anybody could ever use, especially because it was a button next to an iron door. Like as soon as you open the iron door, you run through. That's okay though. This one will guaranteed work. So this one utilizes a trap chest in the center. A trap chest will give off a redstone signal. The redstone signal is attached to all of these four blocks in the corners. And I believe these will dispense different mobs. Let's try it out. Oh, never mind. It doesn't do mobs. It does lava. But you could also use TNT or mobs in the dispensers. This one is just slightly more destructive. Your friends are able to escape though if they stay in the center, but if they move in any direction after opening the chest, they're pretty much dead. Adam, look, dungeon. Look at it. Hey. Have you ever even seen a dungeon before? Are you gonna kill me this time? I'm not gonna kill you. Look, 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 I already covered up the lava. You don't even have to worry about the lava at all. So you're not gonna burn today. There's there's right. just, there's a normal mob dungeon. So the only thing you gotta be worried about is like just mob spawning in. So you promise no lava? Uh, no lava. Look, I covered it okay. all up. Can't you okay. see? Don't you have eyeballs? Actually, yeah, this actually looks pretty cool. Yeah, exactly. Right. Well, we're mining for diamonds. Here, I'll even go in first. Ready? I'll go in and I'll show you that there's nothing suspicious going on. Look, I'm hitting the walls. Nothing is in here that will kill you. This is a safe environment for young dirt boys Ooh, like yourself. There's a chest. Yeah, I put a seeker in there for you. <laughs> you didn't even get the chest, you dummy. Well, I put it in there for you. Get trolled. <laughs> so much blocks of gold. What the heck? That's crazy. Oh, wait. Adam. No. 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 <laughs> I need a bucket, I need a <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have another successful troll. No. <laughs> I think I no. might have broken Adam. He's, <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> On to the next one. Trap number nine, slippery sand. Ladies and gentlemen, we are on the ninth trap. This one is one of my personal favorites that I have used many times. This one might be the most simplest trap ever. In order to make this one work, you need to find your friends at secret base that is somewhere in the desert. After that, it's super simple. You could either put a piece of sand on the ground here or a piece of gravel will work too. Anything that's affected by gravity. Once they walk on it, they will potentially fall. Now you need to make sure that they stay right outside of the door. As soon as they touch this, the piston will take away the block underneath of the piece of sand and then it will fall. Now you could basically have this go all the way down to bedrock. You could have a lava trap. You could have a mob trap. It's really entirely up to you. But I do know one thing. If your friend does fall, they are not going to be happy. Oh boy. Welcome, dead boy. Hey, hey. I, Come on I in. Hear, if I could punch you in the face. Come, Come on, on in and get me. You. Come on in. The door is wide I'm open for you. you. Ah, nah, there, there's a ladder on the inside. You. you could literally come on in and walk directly up and punch me in the face as hard as you want. You shouldn't have said that, buddy. You're going to pay now. <laughs> I'm coming for you. <laughs> what you Wait. Want? No. 
Oh, oh, this is awkward. Oh, what do I do? What do I do? Oh, the trap failed. The trap failed, ladies and gentlemen. It was a mission failure. We gotta get out of here. You're run, dead. Run, run, You're run, dead run. Me. No, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> no. Oh, no. What just happened? I take that back. Trap worked. I'll give that one a 7.3 out of 10. Uh, that will never be the case. Trap number 10 Deep Mines. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not gonna lie. I was slightly disappointed by the last trap. The, the the traps that rely on people sort of like running through a pressure plate or a doorway are a little bit sketchy. Luckily, this one doesn't rely on that at all. This one, if we go up to the top, will be the entrance to a mine. These are especially easy traps to hide because for, the, I mean, the main reason, it's really dark in mines. Normally, there's a bunch of torches on the wall that kind of light it up, but you're not really paying uh, too much attention to anything just because everything looks like stone. So if you're going down the mine, you probably won't will notice that there are pressure plates directly beneath you and you will fall down to your death. This is also one of the easiest traps to set up. All you need is two pieces of redstone, two pistons, and two pressure plates above the either gravel or sand that you want to place them on. I have a feeling this one is definitely going to work. Be sure to leave a like if you think so too. I don't know how you got me in here again, but Dirt listen, boy. buddy. There, buddy. I'm not falling for your traps. I need a pickaxe. I, I need help I, down I here. Don't, I don't I, care. There's iron and I need help. So I don't know what you want me to do. I'll call mom, bro. Did say iron? Yeah. There's um, dirt down here too. There's lots of it. Are you actually stuck? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm not. I'm not stuck down it. here. I just, I, I, I need a pickaxe. Do you, do you have like a pickaxe or anything that you can make a pickaxe with? Yeah, if I learned anything from today's video, I don't think I'm going to go down there. No, but you should because I right. need help and I can't come back up because I, I don't, really I don't, don't have enough food. Go down there. It's All just right. a simple mine. I'm already down down here i'm making a crafting table okay do good to, do you need me to make a pickaxe yeah yeah i need you to make one single or stone pickaxe okay. see look if I, I, save just, you? I just walk back up see i'm fine literally if i save oh wait, wait. i just need a pickaxe we just need a pickaxe oh. to go mine oh, oh okay why did you should have just said that bro I got I, you. i've been saying this your, your dirt you. ears are filled with dirt so we're done with the trolling stuff well yeah this is just like normal minecraft stuff i just need your help and i'm also trying to teach you because i don't even know if you've ever mined iron I in do, your life i do need to learn how to mine okay yeah. It's Here pretty important. Go. I got that a crafting. I'm going down. All right. <laughs> you well, know what? Yeah. You need to go get stone while you're down there. Once I get the iron, I'm not even going to give it to you because you're trapped. Yeah, yeah. Um, This is slightly awkward. So that was not supposed what's, to. What's down there? Nothing. What's... Nothing. Nothing. Come on. <laughs> I'm out. I'm out, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs> I hope you learned something today. Uh, Whatever you do, just uh, the, 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 the trolls that didn't work in today's episode, make sure just to never use them because then you're going to have people that are really angry with you like my brother Adam. I told you you'd never troll me again. Where are you? I'm running. I'm running. I'm out. I hope you guys enjoyed. My name is Ben Beckbro Jack. Peace out, dudes. I got to get out of here.